Hi, in this uh, video, I would like to share my experience using the letter scanner in a blue laser mode. In this example, I will scan this uh, filament holder. It's a 30 degrees pyramid. Uh, this one is uh, 60 degrees, which is taller. Usually, I use it to place the object from the table. So I scan uh, in this uh, position. I scan the top and I can scan on the sides. Then I flip it over. I scan the bottom and the same two sides and then I merge it. So usually I will scan top like this. It's like when you are uh, painting, it, uh, you want to paint along the length, along the length of the object. So if I scan like this, I can get the surface quicker for the top part. But when I want to scan the size here, if I uh, place my uh, scanner in this orientation, I won't get uh, as much of the surface information, same as when you paint. If you, if you paint, you don't want to paint it in this direction. You want to paint it in this direction. But as you can see, if I slowly turn the scanner in this uh, orientation, I will slowly lose the marker and finally won't be able to detect uh, its location. So if you want to do this swipe uh, efficiently, I make this target. Uh, it's uh, 120 degrees here and 60 degrees here and about 4 centimeters tall. I apply like 8 markers on one. It should be a 6mm marker because I'm gonna put it uh, here far away from the object. Actually you need like 4 of this but I have 2 more so I'm gonna put them all. Let's see the difference now. When I go here, you can notice that the scanner sees the marker far away here. The laptop can see markers very far. If I turn the the scanner in this orientation, it sees the target over here. So I can swipe the scanner in this orientation and I can swipe in any orientation without uh, losing the track. I can flip it around as I want. So uh, this target is uh, useful for a small to medium size object uh, without actually apply the markers on the object. So I start the scanner. First you need the infrared sensor to see all the markers position so that you can move uh, faster when you scan. Okay, so we have all the markers. So I think uh, we have it, almost everything. So I will uh, clean up the model. I set it to 0 0.2. Okay, here's the result. Uh, we have a bottom and the two sides here. So this one we have top and the two sides. I start merging. I set it to manual. I will turn it into the same size here. Uh, this is the same side. You see if uh, they can merge it. But let me explain that why I think that the software cannot merge it. Uh, one is because uh, we have one piece that has a top and this one has no top at all. And we have a piece that has the bottom and this one has no bottom surface scan at all. So it shares only the size. The two sides here is chair. It's chair surface. So when the software uh, try to align it, uh, it will not be able to align in the vertical position. Uh, let me try. Uh, one, one, two, two, three, three. Ah, as you can see here, in the vertical position, it doesn't align. See, you have a uh, double walls here uh, because it doesn't know where to stop when it's in the vertical position. But on the sides here, it's matched perfectly. 
see it, the text here doesn't match see so you have two options uh, you can match this one manually in cloud compare uh, which is most people don't want to do that because it takes time so I have another solution if we do a third scan that see all of uh, three sides I mean if we have a third scan that can see one side and top and the bottom we can use that scan for bridging bridging these two scans together so we pair this one with the third scan and then we pair it to the second scan uh, let me show you so I will scan on this side because if you see the top it will see the bottom and see one of the side wall here Amen. then I make a third scan So this is a bridging scan. Optimize it. So now we are going to align eh? scan number three and scan number one. Yeah, that's, this is the alignment that it should be. Okay, so I will align it uh, one. Here. and probably this side here ah oh, there's nothing on this side uh, let's say the one here in the corner three let's do the merging ah so here we have it uh, perfect match see the um uh, you see here is from uh, because i didn't clean uh, point clouds when uh when before merging but that's not a problem we can clean that up in blender very easy and it's even faster so we're going to click yes and then we uh, go back here okay we have a merge first pair merge then we need to do a uh, second merge manual okay so we have a uh, this side here okay i'm gonna click it the one one uh two two and probably some in the bottom here uh three yeah it's much correctly because the text here if you look at the text yeah the text match perfectly so i think it's uh it do the collect merging so we have uh, not so clean uh point clouds here i'm gonna uh not i'm not gonna trim anything here we just uh turn it into a uh, mesh with the uh, faces i would say we have 1.5 i say to 2 millions and close it Okay, this is the result after matching. It looks much better than before. So the merging is complete and I don't think there is any other in the merging. All the walls are aligned perfectly. And you need to clean up those deep uh, grooves that cannot be scanned. And you need to clean this up as well. I will do that in uh, Blender. So I will export it. Okay, we're in uh, Blender. I delete uh, everything I don't need here. Then I change the units so I can understand it better. Change it to some mirrors. Then I uh, import the OBJ file here import it okay you see here it's already here in the screen but you can't see it hit home one time on your keyboard and it's here uh, you need to check the size now click on uh, hit on n you see it's a uh, 1000 time bigger so we're gonna scale it 0 0.001 0 0.001 0 0.001 uh, hit home one more time okay it's here next i'm going to move it to the center so i can rotate it easily geometry to origin now we uh Look at the top here. I'm gonna rotate it. Hit R. Rotate it. I'm gonna move it up a bit here. Okay, let's check if it's straight. Hit R one more time. Okay, looks good now. So what I'm gonna do next is that uh, I'm gonna check how many polygonal we have here. We have 1.5 millions. So I'm gonna remesh it, and I'm gonna clean up all these uh, artifacts. Hit on, uh, click on modifier and click on generate and remesh. Okay, you're gonna wait for a while, click on smooth and then change the octree depth to eight, nine or 10. I would say nine for me, wait for a minute. 
uh, we have uh, 487,000, which is too little. I changed it to uh, 10. We have almost 2 million now, which is good for uh, scouting. I'm gonna hit apply. Okay, now we can move to the um, scouting menu. Hit home one time. I bring up my pen tablet and then I choose the hit the S key for smoothing. Or you can choose this tool here on the toolbar. And then I will clean it, uh, adjust the brush size to proper size brush. Okay, this thing is uh, easy.